SpaceX's inspiration for orbital mission with four non-professional astronauts was by all accounts quite a triumph for space history, space tourism and fundraising for the St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. However, there may have been some tense moments when it came to using the toilet on board the Crew Dragon spacecraft. SpaceX founder Elon Musk tweeted Monday night that the Inspiration4 crew had some challenges with the loo. He promised upgrades for future missions. He said that SpaceX's next space tourism flight would include several updates, including an improved toilet. Hello dear YouTube family and welcome back to Liftoff, your first place where you can find daily news and updates of everything space and everything SpaceX. In today's episode, we will be telling you about the latest updates Elon Musk promised on Future Dragon. So what challenges Inspiration4 crew faced and what challenges he intends to make for future trips? Let's find out. Before we start, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification button so that you will never miss anything of space news. Let's not waste a second and move on with the video. To the SpaceX Inspiration4 crew, welcome back to Earth. The Inspiration4 crew, made up of four civilian astronauts, took off on Wednesday, September the 15th, aboard SpaceX's Crew Dragon spacecraft. Landing safely in the Atlantic Ocean near Florida shortly after 7 p.m. on September 18th evening and bringing an end to their historic three-day mission, orbiting Earth 360 miles above the surface. Thank you so much SpaceX, said tech billionaire Jared Isaacman. That was a heck of a ride for us and we're just getting started. The mission was paid for by Isaacman, who promoted the flight as a massive fundraising effort for St. Jude Children's Hospital. Rather than just climbing to the edge of space and returning to land in less than an hour, as Virgin Galactic and Blue Origin did, Inspiration4 circled the Earth for three days and did so in a higher orbit than the International Space Station. The Dragon capsule descended towards Earth on four chutes before gently landing in the water as the module floated on the surface of the Atlantic Ocean. Inspiration4 spent three days in orbit before returning to Earth with a splashdown on Saturday. That's three days of using the bathroom in microgravity, we're in very close quarters with others. Anything that improves the toilet situation will no doubt be welcomed by the next crew on board the Dragon. Elon Musk promised on Twitter that SpaceX plans to upgrade its amenities for its next space tourist flight, including a toilet and oven. For better or worse, Musk didn't elaborate on the exact challenges. The all-civilian crew of four consisted of billionaire Shift4 Payments founder Jared Isaacman, St. Jude physician assistant and childhood cancer survivor Haley Arkanar, geoscientist Cyan Proctor and aerospace industry professional Chris Sembrowski. Elon Musk tweeted that he met the crew in person in Florida and then answered questions from Twitter users about the company's plans for the next mission. Before talking in any detail, let's first meet the Inspiration4 crew. Jared Isaacman, 38. Isaacman grew up in New Jersey and started dabbling in computer technical support and repair when he was just 14 years old. Two years later, he was offered a full-time position and dropped out of high school to take the job. He later earned a GED. In 2005, Isaacman founded a retail payment processing company named United Bank Card, which was later renamed Harbor Touch, a point-of-sale payment company based in Pennsylvania. He was the founding CEO and retained the role in 2015, with the company having been profitable for over a decade. By 2020, the company had been renamed Shift4 Payments. Isaacman became the CEO and the company was processing $200 billion in payments annually. Isaacman piloted the craft and served as a spacecraft commander. Haley Arkanar, 29. Arkanar, who is from Tennessee, was the first winner of a seat aboard the craft, who will become the youngest American in space and the first to make the journey with a prosthesis. At the age of 10, Arkanar was treated for bone cancer and had surgery at the St. Jude's Children's Hospital to replace her knee and get a titanium rod in her left thigh bone. She wants to show her young patients and other cancer survivors that the sky is not even the limit anywhere. Cyan Proctor, 51. Proctor was revealed as a winner this past March. She is an entrepreneur, educator, trained pilot and active voice in the space exploration community. She was selected as the top entrant of an independently judged online business competition that attracted approximately 200 entries and was conducted by the e-commerce platform Shift4Shop. And an independent panel of judges chose her space art website dubbed Space to Inspire 
Proctor, who studied geology, applied three times to NASA's astronaut corps, coming close in 2009, and took part in simulated Mars missions in Hawaii. Chris Sembrowski, 41. The last seat was awarded to Sembrowski, who donated and entered the lottery, but was not picked in the random drawing earlier this month. His friend was. His friend declined to fly for personal reasons and offered the spot to Sembrowski, who worked as a space camp counselor in college and volunteered for space advocacy groups. Just finding out that I'm going to space was incredible, strange and surreal of an event, he said in March. Sembrowski served as the mission specialist and will help manage payload, science experiments, communications to mission control and more. Responding to one user, Musk said the next flight would have upgraded toilets. He added, we had some challenges with its flight. The billionaire didn't elaborate what exactly these challenges were or how exactly the toilets would be upgraded. Toilets in space can be tricky. The International Space Station got a new toilet just last year. It uses a suction system to keep waste from floating around and incorporates upgrades to better accommodate female astronauts. European Space Agency astronaut Thomas Pesco took a flight to the ISS on a Crew Dragon earlier this year and tweeted a photo of the toilet in his ride, calling it one of the most secret yet useful systems on the spacecraft. SpaceX hasn't revealed much about how the toilet works, but Jared Isaacman, one of the passengers on the Inspiration4, told Insider in July that the toilet for Crew Dragon was located on the ceiling of the spacecraft and featured a glass dome, meaning crew members had a 360 degree view while using the bathroom. He described the toilet as having one hell of a view. It's not a ton of privacy, but you do have this kind of privacy curtain that cuts across the top of the spacecraft. So you can kind of separate yourself from everyone else, Isaacman said. Isaacman added that learning to use the toilet on the spacecraft was part of the civilian astronaut's rigorous pre-flight training. In addition to the new toilet, Musk said other upgrades for SpaceX's next space tourism flight include a small oven for heating food, as well as Wi-Fi, provided by Starlink, SpaceX's satellite internet project. One of the modifications on the Crew Dragon module was the aforementioned cupola, or giant window, that let the four astronauts have a panoramic view of space in the modified Crew Dragon craft. The crew of the Inspiration4 mission took cold pizza on its three-day flight. While in space, the crew members chatted with Musk and actor Tom Cruise. So what is your expectation of SpaceX's next civilian flight? Will the future changes make any sense for the success of the next flight? Let us know your answer in the comment section down below. Now that we have come to the end of the video, I hope you enjoyed it. If so, give it a like and share it with your friends. If you want to see more interesting videos like this one, then make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification button. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again.